And we're back. So, last time, I tried to make myself a stone pot, but apparently the recipes disappeared. Not sure what's happened there. So instead, I'm just wandering around in pain. Wait, do I have painkillers? No, I don't. I want to have a day quill. Gosh darn. So I've got to go raiding other houses now. And hopefully not dying. Although I don't expect to last much longer given how messed up I've become. Oh shit, there's a giant black widow to the south of me. If I just move north, maybe it will ignore me. There's a grocery store up here. Good, I need more foods. Okay, I'm gonna peek out here and see what's out in the streets. Um, nothing. Nada, zilch, zip. Hopefully. Maybe it's just my perception playing tricks on me. Nope, looks to be mostly safe. Oh, there's a zombie dog. I probably should have peeked earlier. But he's aggroed on me now. So I'm just going to close the door and see what's here. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. There's so much stuff in here. A plastic bottle over there. I'm going to nab that. You want as many plastic bottles as you can get. Uh, <laughs> this is not going to end well. I can already feel it. There's so much stuff here, it's slowing down my game. It's <laughs> submachine gun enthusiast in the magazine rack. Plastic bottle of mayonnaise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bad mental thoughts. Uh, three liter glass jar. That would be super handy for containing liquids, but it's also really big. And I don't have much room for it in my inventory. A uh, can of root beer. I might as well nab that. Oh god, the dog's smashing through. <laughs> He's jumping over the counters. Come on in. Ring it. Ow. Smash, smash. There we go. The dog's dead. Splat. I was kind of hoping for some painkillers in here, but... <clears throat> Apple over there. I might as well nab that. Still hungry. Uh, potato chips? I may be in horrible racking pain right now, but god damn, those are some good potato chips. Or crisps, if you prefer. Plastic bottle of sports drink. Sports drink apparently tastes like horrible, <laughs> but it's really good for hydration. So I'm probably gonna have to drink that. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm slicked. And somehow still alive. <laughs> Although that may change very quickly in the next... I don't know. A few steps. Let's see what's over this way. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> a chipmunk is fleeing from something. There's a bloodstains from the house I raided earlier. I think. <laughs> There's a house across the street. Uh, there's a broom and some other items. String and some other items. This is a... 
me check on the map. Dresser Street is a sporting goods store. I might get some good stuff in there. There's a zombie to the north, but I think I managed to avoid him. <clears throat> Apply crowbar. Crunch. Good. That's the sound I want to hear. Uh, towel. Never go anywhere without your towel. <laughs> My view has immediately picked up on a rock. That's good. Room, dust mask, rubber gloves, strange repeat, night quill, caffeinated chewing gum, water, gallon jug of vinegar, super glue. Okay, so I'm gonna do the most ill advised thing right now and. Uh, let's see. Okay, so. No, I don't want to drink from my hands. Yeah, this is a thing that nags you. Yeah, nags people in uh, version zero point nine at least. Whenever you fill a bottle, it'll ask you if you want to drink from your hands. So you may be wondering to yourself, Chaz, why are you taking water from a toilet? And the answer to that is, um, if you make a fire, you can use that fire and a cooking pot to essentially purify the water by boiling it and hopefully getting all the bad stuff out of it but you never know. Ooh, leather backpack over here. Yep. <clears throat> okay, good. So I now have more storage space. Let's see who else is here. There's a crossbow. That's good. I'm going to nab that. I wonder if I have anything I can use to... Nope. <clears throat> but I can probably... Let's see, wooden crossbow bolt. If I just smash this door down... Wooden <clears throat> crossbow bolt. Oh, right, I haven't fully smashed it. There we go. <clears throat> Let me see how many there are. Okay. Oops. Okay. Now I have crossbow bolts and a crossbow. <clears throat> Can wield the crossbow? Oh no, I'm wielding the bolts. Whoops. There we go. Reload my crossbow. Let's see what's through here. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, <laughs> archery for kids. Should probably read that before I operate this thing. <gasps> Aspirin. Somewhere. Aspirin over here. This is good. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat my aspirin. And that should gradually make my pain subside. I'm gonna make this lighter as well. You can never have too many lighters. Okay, so I have a crossbow. I'm feeling a little bit more confident. <clears throat> There's a zombie over this way, somewhere. It's just behind those cars. If I sneak around this way, maybe I can cross with a zombie. Oh, there's a skeleton and there's zombie kids. Shit! <laughs> maybe this wasn't a good idea. Recklessness pays in this game. Oh, <laughs> the zombie's gotten caught in a car. You're just smashing the hell out of it. Okay, there's a skeleton. He's gonna get to me first. Boo! <laughs> the shop passes through the skeleton without hitting. Well, ten points for logic. Uh, I'm gonna wield my crowbar again. Okay, the skeleton dies for some reason. 
Yeah, uh, skeletons have a lot of blood in them. I did not know this. <laughs> oh shit, um, my leg's bleeding. That's not good. Uh, I don't have any bandages, do I? Nope. I do have a rag though, so that's the best I can do right now. Stop the bleeding. Uh, wield my crossbow again. And give it another go. Hey, that was a really risky reload, but I managed it. Boom! Oh, that was good. Uh, uh. Oh, wait, I did reload. Okay. Boom! Jesus Christ, this thing's good. And the bolts can be recovered as well. That's good. Oh. Mm. Oh god, that wasn't good. Smash. I should probably smash these other zombies before they get back up. Reload, ignore further instructions. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job here. Except the crossbow is hella good. <laughs> okay, so the zombie kid hit me, or took a swing at me. Oh, killing a zombie child fills me with guilt. Splat. Apparently smashing the corpse doesn't, though. Oh, God, that's right. There's a whole park full of zombie kids over there. Right. Change of plan. Like it. Oh, God. Take that. <laughs> oh, now my guy's unhappy because he's been killing zombie children. Uh, I was not expecting the crossbow to do that much damage though, that's awesome. I'm glad I picked it up. Uh, let me see, is there anything I can do to... Let's see. I'm not gonna drink that water yet, it's not safe to drink, so I'm gonna drink the root beer. Let me check my... oops. There we go. Uh, Minus 10 points for being guilty about killing. Plus 6 points because I enjoyed a nice root beer right afterwards. <laughs> That's how mental processes work, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna reload while I remember to. So the one thing I'm worried about with this crossbow is that if I try and kill small game with it, I'm just gonna obliterate them. Oh, there's a coyote. He's aggroed on me. Ow, and there's a zombie dog. Good splat. Ah, shit. My leg may be about to fall off. Uh, I'm gonna wield my crowbar. Smack. Pulp. Coyotes are annoying because they attack you and then run away. Oops. Uh, crossbow. Wield. Reload. Let's start reloading. Fire. Splat. There we go. Oops. <laughs> so you can see how quickly things can turn south. Oh, it's night time. I may actually make it through the first day if I don't bleed out. Alas, it is getting quite dark. This is not good. Uh, I went totally off course. Uh, at least I have night vision, so I can at least see two, two tiles in front of me. We and also, this place is lit up. It's surprisingly well lit up, actually. Okay, I'm gonna close the doors. What's making all that light then? Hmm. Just curious. But yes, I'm in horrible pain. My left leg's nearly fallen off. And I don't think I'm tired yet because I have been having energy type drinks. 
Uh, my bedroll's here. No, I don't want to disarm my rule mat. Love liners over there. Uh, tr -tr -tr. Let's see, have we got anything? I suppose if I can take that sheet from upstairs and cut it into rags. Oh, apparently I don't have the sheet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I'll drop my crossbow and pick up sheets. Why not? Uh, pocket knife. Activate. Cut up fabric. Sheet. Yes. <laughs> I'm not wearing it, I'm wielding it. There's a distinct difference. Alright, oh, I did cut up the sheet, I think. Maybe? Ah, crap. Okay, uh, let's try this again. Pocket knife, activate, cut up fabric, sheet, yes. I sliced the sheet into 20 rags, perfect. So now I should be able to make a blanket. There we go. And I've made a blanket. So I'm going to go back downstairs and drop the blanket on the bedroll. Uh, there we go. Because from what I've heard, uh, like a tip I heard from some folks on the IRC is that if you drop them, um, it's either on the IRC or the forums, I completely forget right now. If you drop clothing onto uh, a bed or a bedroll, um, that clothing's warmth will be applied to you while you sleep, so you won't have to worry about being woken up by the cold. That's essentially how it works, anyways. <laughs> God, my safe house is a mess. Oh, right, is it? There's, there's light coming from this uh, truck still, so it's still kind of active. Right. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna have potato chips. Oops. <laughs> Pressing the wrong buttons all over again. Uh, it's D. There we go. And then... Maybe if I go outside and make a fire, because I'm wearing my filter mask right now. So if I can find something to put on fire. Of course, at one time I'm looking for something to set on fire, and there's not. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's a shrub. This will do. <laughs> it's not incredibly efficient. And I just remembered I don't have a pot. God damn it. Where did the pot recipe go? I don't know. There's a regular pot there, but no stone pot. And somewhere else. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> this is going to bother me forever. Do I need a pot? Uh, food, drinks, clean water. Yeah, I need a pot. Or a stone pot. Should have thought of that earlier. I'm not tired yet, and I don't have anything to cook with, so this is probably going to end with me dying in the morning. Ooh, I'm all happy now, though. So at least there's that. Let's see now. Uh, which one is sleep again? It's not that one. Make sure you went to sleep. Yes, and save game before sleeping. There we go, I fell asleep. I used my blanket to keep warm. Huzzah! And I'm hungry and thirsty. <laughs> Alright, things are getting interesting. I've managed to make it to day two. I'm very thirsty, but I'm well rested. And it's raining, of all things.
Hmm. I should have brought that umbrella. <laughs> I regret not taking it with me. And that's another 20 minute session, so I am going to leave it at that at the beginning of day two. And depending on what kind of response this gets, uh, I'll continue. Although I doubt it's going to last much longer, so maybe I'll just end this recording and then start another one. So, see you guys next video.